Good evening, everyone. Part of Ohio's history falls into a creek, and tonight residents want to know why. Four workers were on the covered bridge in Stone Lake Township working to restore it. When it gave way this afternoon, those workers are okay tonight. Local 12's Anjanette Levy spoke with neighbors who have more questions than answers. Anjanette. Well, Rob, I spoke with a woman who lives at the foot of the bridge who heard it crash into the creek. She cried when she saw what had happened to the covered bridge she and so many others fought to, to preserve. County's historic covered bridge lays in a creek bed. Parts of the historic span reduced to a pile of wood and metal. Stonelook Township's fire chief says the four workers on the bridge escaped unharmed. They roll into a situation that, like this and find out there was four guys on that and everything's in the creek and we don't have no big injury. It's a miracle. The bridge was undergoing a major restoration. It had been damaged in 2010 by a garbage truck driving over it that was too heavy. Curious and saddened, neighbors came by to survey the damage. It just made me mad. I can't believe that they didn't take care enough that, you know, it's fallen over now. Gene Conroy lives a mile from the bridge. He and his wife bought their home nearby in part because they love the bridge so much. You don't come across a covered bridge you can drive across very often. This is what the bridge looked like before the repair work started. Residents lobbied to have the damage repaired while preserving the structure's historic pieces, such as these trusses. Neighbors say workers have been dismantling the bridge to repair it. Those workers will return to the site tomorrow. It's a little bit shook up, but, you know, um, I actually told one he should go play the lottery. He's a lucky man tonight. Uh, you know, they walked away from that. Now the work of figuring out what caused the collapse begins, along with the cleanup. Fire Chief Matt Rose says the bridge debris will have to be removed from the creek soon. There's a concern that it could cause flooding in the area when the st snow starts to melt. Rob? And Jeanette, thanks very much. The bridge was built in 1878. It's the only covered bridge in Claremont County.